Hi everyone, welcome to today's webinar. Uh, today we are joined by the lovely Graham from Hard Rock Hotels. Hi Graham. Hi. You okay? Yes, I'm very well, thank you. Are you? Brilliant, yeah. On this good sunshiny time. day, it's sunny today. Whether it will be when the people are watching this, I don't know, but it's gorgeous today. So It is, it is. It's a lovely sunny day. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to join us Pleasure. today. Um, I believe that you've got a lovely presentation to share with us, and you're going to tell us all about a couple of the hotels in the Hard Rock portfolio. So yes. whenever you're ready, I will pass over to you. That's great. Let me just share my screen. Can we see that? We yes. can, yes. Brilliant. Perfect. Brilliant. Well, thank you for the um, fabulous introduction, Lisa. Um, as the Rolling Stones uh, say, yes, allow me to introduce myself. I am Graham, and I'm the Business Development Manager for uh, the UK for the all-inclusive Hard Rock Hotel. So a lot of you may be familiar with um, Hard Rock Hotels around the world, certainly be familiar with the cafes, um, but I specifically work for the all-inclusive Hard Rock Hotels. Um, the properties I look after are in Cancun and Riviera Maya, which are on the Caribbean coast of Mexico. I look after the um, Hard Rock Hotel in Los Cabos and Vallarta, which are both on the Pacific coast of Mexico, and also the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino in Punta Cana in the Dominican Republic. It's a tough job, but somebody's got to do it. <laughs> Now, uh, this is going to sound really cheesy when I say this, um, but when you say at one of our hotels, every room is fit for a rock star because every single room that we have um, in our all-inclusive hard rock hotels, every single room has a jacuzzi bathtub. So you don't need to upgrade to get one of those. Every single room has a jacuzzi bathtub. So party in your room. Um, all rooms have in-room minibar, which is replenished daily with sort of local beers and soft drinks and everything. We offer 24-hour room service. Now, uh, that might not sound a, a sort of big deal, um, but it's 24-hour complimentary room service. Now, a lot of all-inclusive hotels either don't offer room service at all, or if they do, they make a charge for it. But with us, um, if you get back from Coco Bongos, if you've heard of Coco Bongos, if you get back from Coco Bongos uh, or one of our nightclubs at two in the morning thinking, I desperately need something to eat, just so down for room service. It's all complimentary. Uh, and throughout the properties, we've got complimentary Wi-Fi as well. So we've got some great all-inclusive features. Um, I'm not going to go through all of the, the hotels today. I'm going to concentrate on um, sort of, um, I know with uh, sort of Matt and Lisa, it's sort of our favourites really, and the ones that I think will be your favourites as well. So I'm going to look at Hard Rock Hotel uh, Riviera Maya and the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino in Punta Cana. Now, the Hard Rock Hotel Riviera Maya um, is like two hotels in one. Um, to one side, we've got Hacienda, which is the family, which is a family friendly side. And on the other, we've got Heaven, which is adult only. Um, it's important to know that adults can go anywhere on property. So um, if you if you've sort of got kids or you're with people that have got kids, so therefore you're staying in Hacienda, but you want to go over to Heaven um, uh, for, for an evening or for an adult only dinner or an, an adult only pool for a few hours, you can do that. Um, you know, there's there's no sort of um, electrified fence to stop the kids getting in um they, you know adults can just walk over at any time so um it's a great um sort of great combination uh, great as well is if there's a group of you and some do want an adult only hotel and others want um, a child friendly hotel then you've got the best of both worlds there so hacienda and and heaven um, you can see the lobby here of Hacienda. It's very Mexican in its sort of style. So um, you've got all the sort of Mexican colours and everything, but you've got a hard rock thrown right in the middle of there. So if you've never stayed at a hard rock hotel, but you've been to a hard rock cafe, you'll know that all around the property, there's fantastic memorabilia. Um, in fact, in the uh, in the case there, the, the suit that you can see is actually one of Elton John's suits, but we've got, um, I think it's a dressing gown from... Um, um, Elvis Presley and we've got an outfit by Cher and um, the memorabilia actually moves around the world so I'm saying that now maybe by the time you get there it might be different but we've got hard rock memorabilia thrown um, all over the hotel so it makes it really really interesting um, I'm not going to go into room types but I just want you to see this this is our deluxe gold this is our leading room um, this is the worst room you're going to get um, so how, how cool is that? You've got the two double beds there. Uh, you've got the jacuzzi bathtub um, over there. Um, and I so say you've got your in-room minibar and everything. So uh, so that's our that's our leading room in Hacienda. One room that um, is definitely worth knowing about if you've got a family, if you're if you're a family of say two adults, two kids or more, uh, we have our deluxe family two bedroom suites now. We're in uh, Riviera Maya here in Hacienda, but we do have these in Punta Cana and our other all-inclusive hotels. Um, and Matt and Lisa can get the details for sort of prices on these for you. So within the family suites, we can actually sleep two adults, 
four children and room for a cot because you've got the interconnecting door there so we've got king size bed in here and two double beds in the in the next room um in the kids room they get an xbox 360 with dvds and games they get their own in room minibar as well with sort of um sort of fantastic kid friendly uh, drinks and snacks and what have you um so if you've got a family have a look at the deluxe family two bedroom space we've actually got some great offers with travel counselors um on at the moment on these suites so i say get them to get a price on those you might find it's not as expensive as you think very often with um hard rock i think we can sort of come across that where people sort of don't really sort of get it because they think the food is going to be sort of hard rock every night or like a hard rock cafe and that is absolutely not the case um at all of our properties we've got the market which is sort of our, our sort of buffet um restaurant where you can have sort of all sorts of different things but we've got mexican we've got brazilian we've got italian we've got steakhouses we've got zen which is our asian fusion restaurant so that's where the the chefs are doing sort of the tapanyaki and the um the, the flames are going everywhere so from the kids point of view it's absolutely fantastic um to sort of see that and to sort of you know take part in it so when it comes to dining um the, the food really is fantastic at Hard Rock Riviera Maya, about three years ago, we opened something called Woodward. Now, maybe some of you there have got kids that sort of, they really don't want to go on holiday with you anymore. Um, when they see Woodward, they will be joining you quite happily. Um, Woodward is a 29,000 square foot air conditioned building. Matt, we've been in, we've been in, in Woodward. Uh, we did actually do one or two of the, two of the things um, and, and crazy places, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, well, tr I've tried to do some of the things, Graham. <laughs> but maybe you had to be a bit younger and a bit more nimble. I, with, uh, I, I agree. I'm certainly far too old for it now. Far too old. <laughs> It's in, Wood, in, in Woodward, um, we've got a skateboard park, we, uh, skateboard uh, track, we've got a BMX track, we've got a snowboarding, uh, we've got a sprung floor for cheerleading, um, pump track, trampolines, all sorts of things. Um, there is a charge for... Um, Woodward, it's not part of the all-inclusive, but it's not actually very expensive. So, um, you know, get Matt and Lisa just check out the prices if if you sort of need that. Um, I say it's not an expensive thing when you think what you get. So you've got all sorts of fantastic things there to sort of um, have a go on. The health and safety in there is, is really quite amazing. So I think Matt will remember we actually had to sort of just like a 20 minute warm up before we were allowed to do anything. Uh, you yeah. can't just sort of go in there. So um, we have to do sort of rolls and all sorts of things and jump off things, all sorts. And so great, great fun. Those foam pits are really difficult to get out of. Um, I think it, I think that you, you sort of jump into those and it actually takes you longer to get out of the foam pit than it does sort of to jump in. Um, outside of the um, Woodward building, we've got Rectangle. <clears throat> Rectangle is one of the, the Ninja Warrior courses. So, um, you know, release your inner ninja. Um, it's one of the ones where you're, you're sort of timed. So you sort of run through it and you've got all sorts of things, sort of like the hanging rings, the lily pads, the quarter pipes. I'm talking so I know what these things are, but, um, but great fun for kids. And you actually, um, sort of adults can actually sort of compete with their kids in here. And uh, basically you press the buzzer at the end. So um, it's like the gladiator sort of thing. So great fun. Um, you can see some of the things there that we've got in Woodward. Um, if the kids are still bored, how could they? But, but if they are, um, about 18 months ago at Riviera Maya, we opened Rockaway Bay. Rockaway Bay is our 23 slide water park. Um, and we've got sort of different slides for sort of different ages, um, including six sort of um, very high and very high speed um, slides just for adults and teenagers. So um, if you're a bit like me, you sort of, you've always wanted to go on a sort of water park, but you just don't feel you can. Well, now you can um, on sort of, uh, some of the, the the sort of fantastic rides that we've got there so this is just a selection of of some of them so and there is actually um a sort of um snack bar sort of down there with some beds so if you you know if you wanted to spend the whole day down there with the kids that's fine there's no charge by the way for um for rockaway bay that is all part of the all-inclusive um so you can just spend the whole day down there some beds let the kids sort of uh, do what they want to do uh, there's no alcohol served in this area because obviously um it's it's in very much a child-friendly area um and you you've you've not left the hotel grounds you've not left hacienda 
at this um, we do offer um, what we call our Rock City Kids Club which is um, for young children we've got our own resident characters this is all of our hotels as I said we're, we're at Bridge Aramire at the moment but we've got the sort of all of our own inclusive properties um, and just to show you on here the, the top one there at Riviera Maya um, the Rock City Kids Club is open from 8 in the morning until 9 o'clock at night so it's not just like oh well we'll look after your kids for two hours while you have lunch um, you know it really is all day every day not that I'm suggesting you throw the kids in there all day every day but it is available um, all the time so you can see some of the activities that we've got going on there so uh, and again the Rock City Kids Club all part of the All Inclusive Moving over to heaven, which is our adult only side. Uh, this is a really cheesy gag, I'm afraid, but that's a stairway to heaven. Okay, that really was bad, wasn't it? But, uh, but that's our stairway to heaven. You can see from the color scheme, it's a very different atmosphere, um, you know, very different setup sort of from, from Hacienda. You've got the lobby there, it really is sort of quite plush. Um, really sort of on an epic scale really um and again just to show you that's our that's our leading room um sort of with a king bed over in heaven um we do have um, a room type called our deluxe sky terrace deluxe pattern sky terrace now with the deluxe sky terrace um by definition sky terrace they're all on the top floor the hotel's only actually um three stories high so it's not it's, it's not high blocks in that respect um but what we've done rather than just have an entire roof um blocks with air conditioning units and everything that look unsightly um we we'll take the jacuzzi bathtub out of this room as the sky terrace room let's head up you can see a staircase there let's head up, and you've got your own sky terrace uh, room there again I, I sort of mentioned earlier probably not as expensive as you think because when we do have them sort of right across the whole property um just for perspective we've got 870 rooms in hacienda and we've got 394 rooms in heaven and uh, and we've got sort of um, sky terraces all over. Um, we've actually got sky terrace rooms in Hacienda as well, although I'm not sure you picture that, but we have got them. Um, so they're fantastic. And in fact, double the size because they actually do go over sort of two rooms. Um, I know, Matt, when, when we were out there, we, we had sky terrace rooms. They really are amazing, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. really. Spice is brilliant. brilliant. Party. You, re you really can have your own party up there. Um, mm -hmm. So uh, I think these are great, actually, if, you know, sort of in, in sort of the heaven side, if you've got sort of a, you know, if you're a honeymoon couple or you're getting married or something, um, it's just that sort of extra treat, that extra luxury. And you've got your sunbeds up there, so just, you know, chill out. Um, you may never think of Hard Rock Hotels for as a spa holiday, but in fact, Hard Rock Riviera Maya is, in, is the largest spa hotel in the Caribbean. Um, and at Hard Rock Riviera Maya, we have 75 spa treatment rooms. So you really shouldn't have a problem getting a reservation. Um, and our spa treatments, again, probably not as, not as expensive as you think. We have some great sort of deals on there. So, you know, getting a spa treatment for $50, $60 for an hour, um, definitely worth a look at. So if you, if you want a spa holiday, do check us out. And again, we've got the, the amazing spa down in Punta Cana as well. So heading over to the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino in Punta Cana, um, a lavish digs and non-stop style. It's very different from uh, Riviera Maya. At each of our all-inclusive hotels, you'll find they are all different. What we've not done is just built one hotel and replicated it somewhere else. Um, so you've got the lobby here, very different from uh, Riviera Maya. Very much sort of Caribbean feel about it, which is really lovely. So um, once you go in, sort of head into the hotel, you go into the lobby, um, as you can sort of see the, as you sort of go through the sort of doors at the back there, you come into what we call the boulevard. Uh, now the boulevard is, I can only really describe it as almost like a mini shopping center. Um, it, it's on a huge scale. And along the boulevard, we've got 29 shops, bars and restaurants. So the great thing about this is, um, you know, if you happen to be there at a time when it's raining, you know what, it does rain in the Caribbean, you know, it's a couple of hours of the day sometimes, um, doesn't spoil the holiday by any means. But if it is, it's great, just head down to the boulevard and we've got lots of things going on sort of down there, say shopping, bars, restaurants. My favorite place along the boulevard, which the kids will love, is the ice cone, which is um, our sort of um, crepery and waffles and ice cream shop. This is all part of the all-inclusive. Um, now, if you've ever looked at the price of a, um, a, a crepe or a waffle or something like that, you, and you had, you've got sort of two or three kids, you could walk out of a place like that easily spending 30, 40 pounds. Um, but just head there, get an ice cream um, anytime that you want, get a waffle, get a crepe. Um, just the added value that things like this bring to our hotels is, is, is you know, amazing. Leading room, um, our Caribbean suite uh, as a king. 
And that shing is a king king bed. You've got the jacuzzi uh, down there. Um, it's sort of uh, multi level. Um, you can actually have that with two double beds, which will then become uh, you know great for two adults, two kids, or two friends, or anything like that. Um, and you can see very different from from Hard Rock Riviera Maya. So it's really got its own sort of um, feel about it. Um, here along the boulevard, we've got uh, our brand new bowling alley. Um, so six lane bowling alley where you can just have sort of your own party, get some nachos, get some drinks in. Um, not part of the all inclusive, ten dollars for per person for a, for a game of a bowling game. So it's it's not expensive. Uh, we've recently opened an escape room, so I think we've got um, uh, five different themed rooms to sort of escape from. This is very much in vogue at the moment. Um, I don't know, Matt and Lisa, if you've ever done one. I haven't. I'd probably be absolutely useless at it. Um, but we've got our our, our escape room. And recently we opened Flow Ride, which is down by the beach. Um, so again, great to sort of take the kids down and um, sort of go against the waves. Um, as I say, in Punta Cana, we have um, our casino. It's a 45,000 square foot foot casino so it is huge it's a full las vegas style casino uh, this is the madonna, madonna lobby which leads into the casino at the bottom of the boulevard there you can see um so the this is one of our largest pieces of um, memorabilia this is um, madonna's cadillac that she actually went to the 43rd grammys in so if anybody remembers her coming on stage in a, a, a very glittery cadillac um, that's the one so um I say the, the memorabilia again all sort of around the hotel and here we've got the casino I say it is a full Las Vegas style casino um the casino obviously is not part of the all-inclusive because it's actually open to guests from outside of the hotel um but it's got a great atmosphere and you've got um a fantastic um, nightclub club aura there as well um amazing nightclub as well which um I sort of forgot to mention down in Riviera Maya so um the the nightclub in Riviera Maya. Uh, Matt, we spent some fantastic nights in there and uh, that is part of the all-inclusive because it's not open to, to guests from outside. So um, hit the nightclub, do a couple of hours down there, get some room service on your way back. Perfect night for me. Um, in Putacana, 11 st stunning swimming pools. And um, you can see on the one on the right there, we've got a lazy river, which actually goes right around sort of one of the restaurants uh, and what have you and sort of goes into the sort of pool. So um, 11 swimming pools there. Not not really going to go into weddings, but um, if anybody's thinking about a destination wedding, you really, really can't go better than to look at one of our all-inclusive hard rock hotels for a wedding. We we offer weddings from complimentary for up to 32 guests and, and both Matt and Lisa will be able to get information on that for you and we'll, we'll help you with anything to do with that. Um, Really amazing setup. Um, there is um, there's a, a charge for between six hundred fifty thousand dollars for the for the, the, the legal aspect of it. But they all set up as a sort of tails and everything, um, all inclusive. So uh, I say Matt and Lisa will be happy to help you with any information on that. Um, our hotels as well, um, fantastic for uh, the LGBTB market. And in Mexico, um, we're really delighted that um, same sex couples um, can get married legally. That's not yet possible in the Dominican Republic. Hopefully that will come. Uh, but in, in Putacana, we can do um, a symbolic wedding um, if anybody wants that. So um, absolutely fantastic. So that's it from me. Um, I don't know, uh, Matt and Lisa, if you've got any questions. Thank you, Graham. It makes, um, you want to go. it makes you want to go, doesn't it? Yeah, definitely, definitely does. And um, I think both hotels are so different, like you said. But Very. They both have the way of factor, don't they? As soon as you walk in, um, yes. just unbelievable. And what I love about um, Riviera Maya in particular was the fact that um, I would go to the hotel uh, having no children or not even in a group um, because I've got the adults only section and um, the daytime entertainment, the pool parties, the phone <laughs> parties, the, the, like you said, the nightclub. The nightclub is the best nightclub I've ever seen in a hotel. Yes. I just, it is amazing. It is amazing. It's unbelievable. It's got yeah. a pool in the middle of the actual nightclub. And, yeah. um, so it's still really adult focused, you know. So. And, and not say so, again. It's it's not too serious because I don't know if you remember. I mean, when we were there, I mean, they were playing like Banana Armor and you know um, the Nolans. I'm in the mood for dancing. I didn't know the, <laughs> the Americans had ever heard of um, you know the Nolans, but there we are, sort of all sort of dancing away to, to sort of that in the nightclub. The nightclub is amazing. It really is. It really, doesn't take yourself too serious. In fact, at Punta Cana, that's a more serious nightclub. It was actually designed by a guy that's done a lot of the uh, the nightclubs in Ibiza. Yeah. So there's a, there's a big difference in them, and which is why actually in Punta Cana it's, it's not part of the all-inclusive. 
And if, if you're looking, you know, for it, just great restaurants, great entertainment and, you know, five, five star luxury, it's the both perfect. Have you got any questions, Lise? No, I haven't got any questions. Um, I'd just add to, to what Max just said, but I think it's the um, the facilities more than anything. I don't think there's, to my knowledge, any other brand of hotel that offers the, the kind of facilities, particularly teenagers. Um, I mean, you know, a lot of hotels normally you have the kids clubs and things like that, but teenagers are quite hard to um, entertain, aren't they, you know? And um, I certainly get asked by a lot, a lot of my clients will say, oh, I've got a teenager, you know, I really need to make sure that they're entertained. And, and I think definitely uh, sending them to either one of those properties, you probably wouldn't see them for the whole of the holiday because we've just got such amazing facilities there, to be honest. That's all I think. <laughs> Yeah, no, they, they really are. They really are amazing. And as I say, I mean, it's sort of jokingly, um, I think it's, it's it's a perfect for hotels for kids that don't want to go on holiday. But I think when they see what yeah. they can do, um, yeah. you know, they, they're, they're blown away by it. They're blown away I'm, by it. I'm also just disappointed that I wasn't there to see you and Matt in Woodward. <laughs> I'm glad you wasn't there. <laughs> it really made me laugh when you talked about the foam blocks. <laughs> it's, hard, it's hard to get out of them, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. You know, you sort of jump off this high wall, which, I mean, when you sort of look up, you think, oh, yeah, yeah, let's all jump off that and let's jump into the phone. But when you climb up there and you look down, you think, oh, it's a lot higher than I thought this. But then you sort of, you dive in and it's, it's 10 minutes to get out of this foam pit. But hey, -ho. I'm sure <laughs> kids like, do it in like 30 seconds, but. It's like when you try and get out of the pool when you, when you haven't got any steps. Um, yeah. It's that glamorous. Um, exactly. No, no, not, not easy for an ageing rock star like me. <laughs> <laughs> not it i am not at all um thanks for joining us graham we really appreciate it pleasure. Um, pleasure thanks everyone for watching if you really enjoyed this video hopefully you did we have lots of others on our youtube channel please subscribe below and uh, if any of this interests you that you've watched today about those two fantastic hotels get into it we have direct contracts at both hotels um so we have some fantastic rates for you see you soon have a great day bye everyone